because it's uh, audiovisual uh, lessons. Basically, our topics focus around films, uh, camera, audiovisual terminology, discussions. Uh, for example, movie reviews or film reviews, uh, some technical details about cameras, camera operation, different terms used in uh, film industry and in audiovisual uh, industry also. So there's uh, going to be this new audiovisual mm -hmm. course in English in our class. Yeah. So what is it going to be about? Can you tell me something? From, from my understanding and my, my collaboration with this project is that uh, uh, this audiovisual uh, courses will be taught by uh, professionals, Czech professionals, here in Czech Republic, and uh, I would be focusing on the technical vocabulary for, for uh, audiovisual terminology and about making presentations about projects uh, and about summaries of their of their master works and so on. I think the, I think it's a very good idea. Because uh, the audiovisual terminology is international, used in English, so it gives the students a very good advantage to work for foreign film companies or productions here in Czech or abroad. So, I think that in general this will be very attractive for foreign students also because it's in English, and the teachers, are, uh, teachers and professors are professional and. In Czech Republic, it has very good opportunity for film industry productions and so on. Hello, my name is Darina Kaluževa. I'm studying this school. This course is about TV anchoring and moderating. Hello, my name is Veronika Pokorna and I'm studying here to be a TV anchor and presenter and I find it really interesting. It gives me so much new knowledge and a lot of experiences. Uh, I think I think in general it's it's important to learn some foreign language. Uh, of course, English is spoken around the world, so it's you have a larger opportunity to to deal and to cooperate with other people in English language. Of course, it's important because the uh, there's a lot of information on the internet and a lot of things uh, are done in English language nowadays. So they have bigger opportunities for jobs. They can find better jobs if they know English or they can work with international companies or for example film film companies or film productions in English and I think the teachers teachers in Czech are very adequate and very good so I think it's a good advantage for foreign students do you think is there going to be a market for the foreign students of the audiovisual yeah course? I think so I think audiovisual is very at the moment very broad topic it's very wide pro, uh, topic because it, you can do so many things in audiovisual but I think the the approach to this school and this uh, this this these lessons or these courses is to be a renaissance man to be able to do everything in general and to be flexible because in in the real life in the film industry and in the audiovisual industry you have to be flexible and if you're not flexible and you're not able to you're not able to change your point of view then you have a hard time finding a job, so you have to be renaissance man. In general, because Czech is a very small country and Czech language is very difficult to learn. As, as foreigners try to learn it, it's very complicated and very complicated grammar and so on. I think for a lot of foreigners uh, who come to Czech or Czech people here, English is more simple, more easier to learn, basic phrases. And as I said before, English is a word language, so almost a lot of people speak English as a foreign language, so you can speak not only in Czech with foreign people, but with foreign productions and so on.